renters reform bill was introduced to the House of Commons on the 17th of May this year. Uh, the objective of the bill is to ensure that renters have access to secure, decent homes and that landlords retain the confidence they need to repossess their properties where they need to. Uh, there's a very long way to go with the bill. Um, it's probably going to be 12 months plus. It's got to go through a parliamentary process of the House of Commons, then the House of Lords, before it gets royal assent. Um, and there'll be a lot of opportunity between now and then for discussion, amendments and additional clauses. To give you a brief summary of what the bill contains at this moment in time, we've got the much sensationalised abolition of Section 21. This is to protect tenants from retaliatory evictions. A landlord will still be able to regain possession of their property if they need the property for their own use, for a family member or to sell the property or for a breach under Section 8 like rent arrears. So it isn't a big deal if you're a good landlord. With the removal of Section 21, we will see the strengthening of Section 8 with more possession grounds for landlords where a tenant is at fault, for example, antisocial behaviour or persistent rent arrears. The removal of the concept of an assured shorthold tenancy with no fixed terms, meaning that all tenancies will be periodic from commencement while increasing the amount of notice a tenant must give from one month to two months, bringing it in line with the current landlord's requirement. The creation of a private rented sector database, all landlords will have to register themselves and register their properties. Uh, we'll see the desire to make it illegal for landlords and agents to blanket ban tenants on benefits or those with children, but we're waiting for a little bit more detail on that. More power for tenants to request a pet in their property, which the landlord must consider and cannot unreasonably refuse, while at the same time there's been an amendment to the Tenant Fees Act 2019 so that the landlord or agent can insist upon pet damage insurance to cover damages. There'll be the introduction of a single redress scheme to cover the private rented sector, strengthening local authority powers to enforce the legislation. Rent increases will still be permitted once per year, however we'll see an end to rent review clauses. The notice period for increases will rise from one month to two months with a slight reform of section 13. This is being billed as the biggest shake-up to the private rented sector in a generation. And it is. So what do we think? Well we need to see more of the finer detail on some of the points, but overall we feel the changes proposed are balanced and positive and we think it's going to create a fair environment for landlords and tenants. Um, I think it will make it better for good tenants and better for good landlords. Uh, what we would really like to see is some tax incentives for landlords and for investors to help stabilise prices, to help create the supply we need and stabilise the prices. Uh, because of Section 24 tax, second home stamp duty amongst other things, the amount of available property to rent has reduced with the amount of tenants looking rising. It's led to a 20% plus increase in rent prices over the last two years. This bill has already been sensationalised and spun into clickbait, spreading misinformation which will no doubt cause some landlords to panic. At night, we are seasoned rented sector experts and qualified members of PropertyMark, meaning we get direct guidance from legal experts on the renters reform bill and anything else we need. And this is on top of all of our own decades of experience and expertise. We will be watching with keen interest and keeping all our clients updated with any developments whilst maintaining compliance throughout the implementation of the bill. We'll be monitoring for any potential unintended consequences of the bill and looking for ways to safeguard our clients accordingly. The private rented sector is changing. If you're a landlord, align yourself with a reputable property mark letting agent and seek their guidance. Thanks for watching.